Hey, bro, do you know what a goblet squat is? Oh, yeah, brother, I do those all the time. Well, do you know what goblet squats are with a band? Is that just like doing some squats to listen to your favorite band? Come on, bro, don't you know anything about the length tension relationship within muscle? Brother, I just pick up those weights and I put them back down again. Perkin Fitness here, ready to teach you guys how to perform the goblet squat as well as the goblet squat using a resistance band. The goblet squat is a great exercise for targeting your glutes, your quads, a bit of your hamstrings, as well as your core. Because you're holding the weight to the front of the body, with the goblet squat, you're able to keep a more upright torso. A more upright torso means greater activation of your quads as well as your core muscles. Performing a goblet squat while using a resistance band opposes the natural length tension relationship of the exercise due to gravity. As you descend into a squat, the muscle becomes lengthened outside of its resting length, which means that it can't produce as much force as it could within its resting length. Also, the moment arms at the hips and the knees become longer as you descend into the squat, which means more force is needed to get your ass to stand back up. In simple terms, the goblet squat is easiest at the top and gets harder the further down you go. Due to the elastic nature of a resistance band, as you stretch your resistance band out, you need more force the further and further you pull it. Using a resistance band while performing the goblet squat makes the exercise harder at the top as the band stretches out and makes the exercise easier at the bottom as the band relaxes. The Goblet Squat When getting set up for the goblet squat, we're going to grab ourselves the dumbbell and position our feet about shoulder to hip width apart. Play around with the width of your squat stance to find the one that best suits you. Make sure to have your feet slightly towed out, not towed out like a duck's and not completely straight forward. From here, grab the dumbbell with both your hands and place your hands beneath the plates of one end of the dumbbell. Make sure to hold the dumbbell tight to your body and just below the chin. It is very important whether you are goblet squatting, front squatting, back squatting, any form of squatting to always balance your mass over the middle of your foot. To do this, we are going to unlock our knees, unlock our hips, and slightly push them back while keeping our chest up. Only push your hips back far enough so that you feel the center of your mass over the middle of your foot. If you push too far, you'll go into your heels, and your toes will pop off the floor. Once you feel balanced, I want you to imagine screwing your feet into the floor. This is going to bring your knees out so that the middle of your knees track over the middle of your foot. Now that you're all locked in, I want you to take a big belly full of air and brace your core. Begin descending into the squat, keeping your knees out and your chest up. The dumbbell must be kept close to the body throughout every rep. Another super important point to remember is that you need to keep your back in a flat, neutral spine throughout the entire exercise. The goal of the exercise is to try to break parallel while still having a flat, neutral spine. If your flexibility permits you and you can go below parallel, way below parallel, while still having a flat, neutral spine, and give her hell. Once you've reached the bottom position, begin exploding upwards, extending through your hips and knees and locking them out at the top. Lock your hips at the top of the movement, but do not push them forward, changing your center of mass. Repeat until you can't hold that fucker any longer. The Goblet Squat Using a Resistance Band When getting set up for the banded goblet squat, you're going to place a nice heavy dumbbell between your feet. Grab yourself a resistance band and you're going to loop it through the handle of the dumbbell. From here, wrap the resistance band beneath both of your thumbs of each of your hands. Keep your hands spaced apart the width of the dumbbell. Grab the dumbbell with both of your hands as well as the resistance band and cup both of your hands and the resistance band beneath the end of the plates of the dumbbell. Get in a quarter squat position and use your knee to help you lift the dumbbell up. If you have a stand or something that you can place the dumbbell on, keep it close to you so that you can grab it the same way that I described before, but not have to bend so low to the ground. From here, we will perform the banded goblet squat the same way as we would perform the goblet squat. Begin by standing in between the dumbbell placed on the ground. Place your feet, shoulder the hip width apart, and slightly toed out. Unlock your knees and push your hips back while keeping your chest up until your center of mass is balanced over the middle of your foot. Think about screwing your feet to the ground, keeping your knees out before you descend to the ground. Before descending, brace the core by taking a big belly full of air. Keep the dumbbell as tight to the body as possible. We want to maintain a flat neutral spine throughout the entire exercise. 
Begin descending until your thighs break parallel to the ground. This must be accomplished with a flat neutral spine. Once you've reached your bottom position, begin extending your hips and knees, locking them out at the top. Repeat until that fucker weighs like a truck. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, go cry to your cat about it. I'm just kidding. Leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and share Parkin Fitness on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.